Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Papa James Moto The Gadget Edition. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. So for today's video, we are going to unbox the newest phone from Vivo, the V15. Let's check the box first. Sa harap, pakikita natin yung picture ng unit, yung branding, at ang capacity ng ROM at RAM. Sa gilid naman nito, branding at ang NBA logo. Same din dun sa kabilang gilid. Sa likod, dun natin makikita yung mga features na binabayad na natin kay Vivo. Ultra Full View Display, AI Triple Camera, 32 Megapixel Elevating Front Camera, and 4000 mAh Battery. Let us now proceed with the unboxing. So first, pagpakabukas ng box, meron pa siyang isang box. And then, itatabi muna natin. And this is our Vivo V15. According to Vivo, the screen panel is made out of Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And yung likod naman ito is made out of a hard polycarbonate materials. So madali pa rin siyang may scratch. A 3.0 charging brick. This is a dual fast engine. So napakabilis lang mag-charge diaga dito. And not so surprisingly, USB 2.0. Because Vivo V15 is not a flagship phone, this is a mid-range phone. An AirPods-like earphone from Vivo. And buksan na natin yung box. Ang laman nito sa loob is yung mga warranty papers. Yung quick start guide. And of course, the SIM ejector pin. Ito ang nakaka-surprise guys, kasi last time yung ginamit nila sa Vivo V15 is a simple silicon case but now they're using a hard plastic case with a matte finish sa gilid. As you can see, it's very durable and yung mga buttons niya is napaka-tactile. So, itabi muna natin silang lahat and let's focus doon sa ating Vivo V15. Kaya yung sabi ko kanina, yung back panel niya is made out of hard polycarbonate materials. Pero guys, tignan nyo yung gradient effect. Mukha siyang mirror. Starting from upper, makikita nyo yung parang dark blue to light blue to dark blue again. Makikita natin sa likod ang protruding camera it starts with the 24 megapixel lens, super wide angle lens, LED flash, and our bokeh lens, and of course our fingerprint scanner. Sa ibabaw, makikita natin ang ating microphone, ang ating pop-up 32 megapixel camera. Sa gilid, andito naman yung ating mga volume rockers, at ang ating on and off switch. Sa ilalim guys, makikita natin ang ating speaker grills, USB 2.0 ports or charging ports, microphone, 3.5mm headphone jack. Sa kabilang gilid naman, nandito ang Google Assistant button at ang SIM card and memory card tray. So, let's boot it up. Upon using, napansin ko na napaka-fluid ng UI ni Vivo V15. Dahil nauuso ang dark mode, hindi papahuli si V15. You can use dark mode by simply pressing the dark mode button. Sa interface na ito. Ang screen na ito ay sumusukat ng 6.53 inches by 19.5 by 9 FHD plus ultra full view display at 2340 by 1080p aspect ratio. They upgraded their OS into front touch 9 kasabay ng pag-upgrade nila 
na kanilang OS into Android 9 Pie. Now let's proceed with the camera department. 24 megapixel is not a joke. I mean, sobrang linaw nito pagdating sa photo and video. And this is the interface ng camera. Photo mode, video mode, AR sticker mode, AI beauty mode, night mode, panorama mode, pro mode, and dock mode. The crowning glory of Vivo V15, the 32 megapixel pop-up camera. According sa research, nakapasa ito sa stress test ng 300,000 times at bigat na 15 kilos. Ito ang mga sample shots ni Vivo V15. And in selfie mode, So right now, I'm using the V15 from Vivo, front-facing camera, and at the same time, the internal microphone. I don't have any accessories attached to the phone. Now, let's proceed with the display. Even though hindi gumamit ng AMOLED screen ang Vivo para sa V15, still, kitang-kita pa din ang detalye pagdating sa image and video nito. Let's try sa different angles. Klarong-klaro at detalyado pa din ang video. Dahil sa full view display, masarap panood ng mga video gaya ng YouTube at Netflix ang Vivo V15. Dahil priority ni Vivo ang mga gamers, meron pwedeng gamitin ang mga players na application na kung tawagin ay GameCube kung saan pwede natin i-block ang mga tawag, messages at kung anong-anong klaseng notification tuwing naglalaro tayo and it also boosted ang speed and frame rate per second ng isang laro We try to use it in PUBG. The default setting is in high settings. And we also try to use V15 in playing Mobile Legends and walang ka problema pagdating sa lag and graphics nito. As you can see, napakataas ng resolution at frame rate per second pagdating sa larong ito. So there you go guys, an upgraded version of UI and Android version, a pop-up camera, and a new technology. What can you ask for? This has been your Techie Boy, Papa Chains, signing off.